Sion Gergerod was from a wealthy family on the core world of Tenel IV. Originally trained as an architect, he was hired by the Karelian Engineering Corporation as a starship designer. His work there led to his service in the Galactic Empire, helping design the original Death Star. Thirteen years before the station was completed, he held the rank of Rear Admiral and was a member of the Joint Chiefs. Jurgerod was not held responsible for the station's design flaws, was put in charge of the construction of the second Death Star, and was promoted to the rank of Moth. In order to maintain secrecy, his public title was Director of Imperial Energy Systems. He ensured the failures of the first superweapon were not repeated by providing heavy armor for all thermal exhaust ports. Unfortunately for Jojerod, the station fell under attack before it could be completed, and he was killed in its destruction. Originally, Moff Jojerod's role was more substantial. Early drafts of the script presented him as an agent of the Emperor working behind Vader's back who would eventually be killed for his spying. Deleted scenes also show him to be a conflicted man when ordered to fire the Death Star on the forest moon, which would kill all the Imperial soldiers stationed there. And one more extra piece of trivia, shots from Vader's arrival on the second Death Star were recycled for the special edition of The Empire Strikes Back. Jurgerod is visible in the shots even though the scene was meant to take place on the Executor. Legends material retconned his presence there, claiming he was reporting to Vader on the status of the Death Star's construction, but the new canon has yet to do so. That's it for today! Please subscribe, like, and share to see new Star Wars videos every weekday. And if there's a specific Star Wars topic you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comments and I'll do an episode about it. As always, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.